Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. Thanks for watching the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I covered how to use the OpenAI Analytics Connector with Click Cloud Analytics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the OpenAI Connector Blocks with Click Application Automation. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning Portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription-based content, instructor-led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. All right, so to get started, I'm in a Click Application Automation Workflow, and we're utilizing our new OpenAI Connector Blocks, which consist of Create Completion, List Models, Raw API List Request, Raw API Request, and Retrieve Model. Now this workflow basically looks at a ServiceNow incident, and based off of the descriptive text, provides it with the sentiment score based off of a prompt that we asked the Open API, and then Based off of that score coming back, we then ask it to create a possible response that the support engineer can use to respond appropriately to the customer. And then it also updates the incident with that response in the comments and also sends a message to Microsoft Teams. So let's give you a quick example of how this works. So I'm going to go into my developer instance of service now. I'm going to create a new ticket. And we'll call this one. Computer keeps crashing and rebooting. And I'm just going to paste that in the description and just put in some additional information to complete the case. And now we're going to click save. So now this incident is opened up within service. Now you can see the activity. There's nothing here. Comments are blank. We have our summary, etc. Now, if you're not familiar with click, application automation, please refer to our other videos. Basically, this is going to now be kicked off manually, but we could kick this off through a schedule, a trigger or a webhook as well. So like if something else happens, it could trigger this. And I'm just going to click run. And I'm going to grab my Microsoft Teams. And what we're going to do is wait for the response to be populated within Microsoft Teams. And there it is. So we received a new incident with a low sentiment of four open incident in service. Now incident description, computer keeps crashing and rebooting. And then here are two examples of responses they can use. So that information that was pulled from OpenAI is now populated in teams and made available for, let's say a support engineer to respond to. I'm not going to read all of this verbatim. You get the point there, but let's go back and let's also go into our service now ticket. And I'm going to refresh. And you can see now here in activity from the system administrator, here's that information from the open AI completion response written back to the service now system directly for the support engineer to use and respond for within the case if necessary. Okay. So I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. So you saw how that works. Now, if we just go into edit, we have our start block. We have our service now block, which is available here. In this case, we're just looking at the last record retrieved. We then go to the create completion, uh, open AI connector block that you see available here. Our connection for, is to open AI. It just uses the API key, similar to like what I showed you in the previous videos. And the input is using the text DaVinci model. And you can see the prompt analyze the sentiment of the following sentence and return its sentiment score on a scale from one unhappy to 10 happy. The reply must be a single integer. And then we're taking the incident that comes back from the service now block and populating it here uh, with the description. So that's what's being sent as the prompt. Now, as we know, there's going to be a return. So if we just look at the history, you can see the output and you can see the prompt tokens, completion tokens. So this just gives you an idea of what's being run in the back end. And then you can see that the score that came back is a score of two, which is less than four. So if we look at the condition, if it's less than four, so you can see choices, text, that was what we looked at in the history. If it's less than four, then run the 
create completion uh, block again with the prompt write a possible reply a support engineer could write for the blow support case and that basically gets the description from that case and then we use an update incident and you can see the task id and the effective number this is basically the incident that came back um, from the retrieval and then you can use other fields to update but i created a com uh, comments field if you look at the service now api there's a field called comments and here i just put that response as part of the um, value. And then we also have that response as part of a send message block. And that's pretty much it. So running that updates the incident in ServiceNow and also sends the message in Teams. Okay, so I don't wanna spend too much time on this. Um, what I'm interested in is learning more from you on how you would use this particular um, backend workflow within your organization utilizing the open AI connector blocks. All right, guys, thanks for your time. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.